Hey guys, what's up? This is a really interesting um, comic book called The Mercenary. And this is a really pretty cool uh, comic. This came out in the 80s. And I don't think this got a lot of recognition. I've never seen um, a story about The Mercenary. I've never seen like the continuing adventures of The Mercenary. This is pretty much one of the few books I think has ever been written about this character, The Mercenary. And um, the artist or the writer is, uh, is V. Zagrelli's. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And the story is the cult of the sacred formula. And this is just, you know, this is just your kind of like average everyday dragon rider knight kind of uh, thing, you know, kind of story. And while the actual writing is pretty good, the story is pretty good, I remember reading this back in the day. And while those are really great, what I think was really amazing about this comic book is the artwork. I think the artwork in here is better, like 10 times, like a lot better than your average comic book. And that's what I really like about these kinds of books, where they really sit down and take the time to have really good art on it. And so as you can see, the cover is pretty cool. It's your average everyday cover. And, you know, it's just like, you know, the cover is always good on comic books. But then when you open it up, oh, here's some cool stuff. Um, the artwork is amazing. You know, when you open it up, you could see a lot of cool artwork. You could see knights. Um, the formula, I guess there's two stories in this one. I can show you some more of this artwork. It's interesting because the story, like... Honestly, I would prefer reading a comic with good artwork over a good story with bad artwork. I just, uh, I don't think there's any point in, if they're going to put bad artwork in, in a comic book, or not really take the time to make the artwork good, it's, what's the point of making a comic book? You can just make a novel and skip the artwork altogether if that's going to be like a second, you know, like a second thought. But, amazing, ama really nice art. Um, and I'll tell you what, what the story is. On the back, it basically tells you what the story's about. It says, in a lost and long forgotten valley high up in the mountains, the mercenary has been contracted to save a woman from the mysterious, powerful cult of the sacred fire. Basically, he does. You know, he goes and tries to save this woman uh, from this tower. He puts on his armor. He gets on his dragon, you know. And that's kind of like your re regular story. There's nothing really special about it. But the artwork is really what is nice about this. And I think what's cool about the art in this thing is that it's not just, the art is not just like, the book is just not like regular art. It's actually really, really good art. Um, and really cool artwork and stuff like that. Um, the story's pretty good. I'm not gonna say the story's great. It's not. It's not too memorable and stuff like that. There's some nudity, so I can't show you that. Uh, but you can see some of the really cool pictures in this thing. You know, um, there's a lot of cool pictures in here. There's this woman who is a archer with a cloak, which is pretty cool. And um, there's swords. There's fighting. There's combat. There's castles and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of different, like, interesting... There's an adventure that he's flying to save this woman. It's pretty cool. Um, there's weird characters in it, which isn't, like... They're not overly weird or absurd characters, which would kind of, like, take away from the story, I guess, a little bit. That, like, like this guy here, that's kind of, like, a weird kind of character, but... Um, the basic story is that and what's cool about this is you know obviously when you have a comic book with a lot of good artwork it takes a lot of time to draw and paint every single page so it can't be a big comic unless it's like Jodorowsky's The Meta Barons which is this huge humongous comic book um, but then of course that comic is drawn by one of the best artists of all time um, not just in comic books but just like just in art and okay so that was the first part of the story right and the second is the formula it's a double story in here the stories are short but i think they're worth collecting because of the art so you don't get a lot of like the first one is like basically 
Um, flying and flying and like dragons and stuff like that. Flying and dragons. And the second one is also very, very similar to the first where it's like, he's also putting on his armor, you know? Um, and the formula, I'm not sure what the second one's about, but you could see just the, the really nice art in here in this book. Can you find this book? Like, I don't know. I really don't, like, you probably can uh, find it in good condition somewhere, but this was not a popular book. I don't know how many people actually, how many, like, printings of this book or the story actually happened. I did see this online somewhere. I'm pretty sure you could, you could probably get it online. Like, someone's might be selling it, but these came out in the 80s and they weren't popular. Like, I don't know how many were actually printed. Um, I'm not, I don't think they're, like, really that, that valuable or anything like that. It's just, uh, it might be a little bit hard to get. But, um, let me see what, is, see like, it's just, I love the artwork in here. It, it's your classic medieval, medieval fantasy, sword and sorcery, and there's not like a lot of sorcery in it, there's just dragons. You know, it's a guy in armor, he's, he's got a knight suit on, he's flying a dragon, he's got like his freaking like, it's not, what is it, what did he say, a crossbow in it? He's got a crossbow and everything like that. And, you know, monsters, you know, slaying monsters and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It's a weird monster. I mean, it looks like a, a dragon shark. The dragon shark. <laughs> That's like the ultimate shark, you, you know, the dragon shark. You know, and then, oh, it's so pretty cool. I mean, this, one of the guys in here looks like a wizard, but flying in, in, the, in the air with dragons. Um, it's cool. I, I was really, I remember like buying this and being so surprise that actually had good artwork inside I'm, I'm talking about like even like at the time the watchman came out and the watchman didn't have artwork as good as this like the best art you know the best most popular comic books that were coming out did not have art like this like um batman the dark knight which was like hugely popular they were like the, the, it was really expensive it was hard to get you know, but it didn't have great artwork, you know, and a lot of, a lot of really popular comics did not have great artwork, but this one does. Love it when it just has good artwork. It'd be nice if there was more to it, um, if there was like a more interesting story, like, but you know, a lot of stories are just about the art, like Druna is all about art. It's all about how she looks and how she's drawn and it's not really, the story is like a second thought, you know. And I think that's the thing about comic books is that, like, comic books should be primarily art, you know, because it's like, it just makes no sense to, to, to make a comic book and not really focus on the art. You might as well just make a, a novel and not even bother with the art or put some illustrations inside a regular book, you know, and uh, it's just because, you know, it should be really, really cool. Um, the Mercenary, yeah, it's a little bit of a hidden gem. But if you like good artwork, you might like this. If you like a story which is your classic um, knights dra riding dragons, saving maidens in uh, from castles and whatever it is, you might like this also. You know, you might like dig this because it, it's a decent story. It, it, I remember like enjoying reading it, but I really enjoy like the art of it. And I think as 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 for art, you know, this is probably one of the best art from beginning to end in any comic book um, that I've ever seen, you know? So, let me know what you guys are thinking about this. Um, have you ever read anything about this, with this artist or this writer? Have you ever read this book? Um, and I really don't think there's a lot of it, but there might be a few of these out there. So let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Um, like and subscribe, ring the bell if you want to be notified when there's videos. And this video is all the time anyway, so check out my, my, my channel and then you'll see more videos there. Yeah, and thanks for watching and I will see you guys in another video later.